We tried that wearable vibrator you've heard about and it's worth the hype. If you read about sex toys at all, there is a good chance you've at least seen the Vesper by Crave. It's been around for a few years, and as a popular wearable vibrator, it's long been admired because it's pretty enough to hide its double life as a sex toy. But why is it so recommended? Turns out, the answer has more to do with the vibrator aspect than the wearable one. Sure, all orgasms are awesome, but let's be real, not all orgasms are glamorous. Getting off with a hookup in a bar bathroom might be fun, but it isn't glamorous. The Vesper is, Fergie Voice, G-L-A-M-O-R-O-U-S. Available in silver, gold, and rose gold, the Vesper dangles around your neck as a beautiful long necklace. Snuggled on its stem is a small, round button that turns the vibrator on. It's surprisingly subtle, which means that, yes, you really can have it around your neck in public and the only people who will understand its true purpose are those in the know. Is it appropriate for every occasion? That's your call, since wearing a vibrating necklace to a family function would probably be a bold move. Still, orgasms provide stress relief. So you could sneak into the bathroom and quickly vibrate one out at your next anxiety-provoking social obligation, as opposed to drinking a bit too much champagne. Or do both, no judgment. If wearing a vibrator out in public even if only you know it's a vibrator makes you uncomfortable, simply wear it at home to feel fab, or keep it on during sex. But remember, if you are going to wear it as jewelry in public, now more than ever you should remember to clean your sex toys. It's the considerate thing to do, in addition to being the safe thing. Personally, one of my favorite ways to wear and use the Vesper is during partnered sex. Making love wearing nothing but a necklace is ultra glam. Wearing a necklace that also gets you off? Even better. It vibrates at four speeds and two modes, pulsing and constant. It's very small and thin. So it works best for focused clitoral contact or teasing someone. So many people with vaginas require clitoral stimulation to get off during penetrative sex, although, vaginas are not required, and I know people with penises who adore this sex toy, so adding a vibrator to partnered sex is never a bad idea. But sometimes you're in the moment and might not want to get up and pull out your favorite toy from your underwear drawer, and positioning can often be the most difficult aspect of adding a toy to the mix when you're in the bone zone. But the Vesper is too delicate to ever be awkward. If your vibrator is already around your neck, you're good to go. And it's just so pretty. Did I mention that the company will even personally engrave it for you? The first time I used the Vesper, I have the gold one, was during partnered sex, and I came like a goddess. I tried it again later while masturbating to porn. It was still beautiful, and it still made me orgasm, but I almost felt bad that my teeny, chic gold necklace had to bear witness to pop-up pads. To me, the Vesper totally gives off a light candles and fantasize about the one you love, so I think I prefer bigger and clunkier vibrators for masturbation and the Vesper for romantic sex with bi. 
Fortunately, it's small and subtle enough that you could slip it off your neck and press it against your clit during passionate sex with another person, or use it to celebrate being single after you just bought yourself roses.